And God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. Verse number three says, I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, or Yahweh, I was not known to them. Moses was getting ready to embark on an assignment that called for a different revelation of God. If you go to Abraham, Abraham was introduced to El Shaddai, God Almighty. He introduced himself to Abraham as God Almighty because Abraham got to a place. He was about 99 years old when God revealed himself as God Almighty. God the able. Hallelujah. Somebody throw in the chat, God is able. Come on, throw that in the chat. God the able. So he introduced himself as God the able or God almighty or God or, or El Shaddai to Abraham at a time in his life where he felt like he was not able himself to do something that the Lord said he would do. Come on God. He was called to bring forth a seed. But because, because Abraham was 99 years old, glory to God, he wasn't as strong or as vibrant as he once was. He felt like he was not able to do what God was calling of him to do. But in that moment, God said, you don't have to worry about your weakness. Because I'm going to step into the place of your weakness and I'm going to introduce you to myself as Komansaya, as El Shaddai or God that is able. So whenever God calls you to do something that's beyond you, I'm talking to those who purpose is pulling on you and you don't know how you're going to do this thing. You don't know if you're qualified or if you know that you're not qualified, you're not able to do it. And because you feel unqualified, you feel like you're not able, I want you to know know that in the place of your, your insufficiency, God is going to give you a revelation of himself. And the revelation that God gives you of himself is the all-sufficient one, the one that will minister to your weak place and give you to your, the ability to do the thing that you cannot do in and of your own strength. He is Yahweh.